you, everybody knows who James Bond is. Who doesn't like his movies? He is one of the most liked intelligence officers in Hollywood. In one of his movies, you see him getting hit by bullets. One might think that that's where the movie ends, but perhaps it doesn't. How? Because the bulletproof vest under his coat protects him from the bullets, and so he continues to fight. Ever wondered what bulletproof vests are made of? Well, they are made of a synthetic or artificial fabric called Kevlar. What are synthetic fabrics? Well, fabrics are of two types: natural and synthetic. Natural fabrics are made from plants or animals. Cotton, wool, and silk are examples of such fabrics. Synthetic fabrics, on the other hand, are made in factories using different chemicals. They have repeating groups of molecules that link to one another to form long chains. These long chains are called polymers. Rayon, nylon, PET, polyester, and acrylic are all examples of synthetic fibers. Now you might be wondering why we needed to develop synthetic or artificial fibers when we already have cotton, wool, and silk. Well, the most important reason for developing synthetic fibers was that the price to manufacture them would be lower as compared to the fabrics made from natural materials, so they could be used by both the poor as well as the rich. Now that we know this, let's see what different kinds of fabrics can be made using synthetic materials. Sarees, dresses, and curtains are made from rayon because it is lightweight, shiny, and fairly absorbent. Nylon is used to make ropes. Tents and umbrellas, since it's both strong and waterproof. The containers that we generally see in our kitchens are made of PET, which is lightweight and non-reactive. And polyester is used to make suits due to its stiffness and wrinkle-free nature. Another synthetic fiber, acrylic, is used to make hand gloves and sweaters because it resembles wool, but it is cheaper. Awesome! That's all for this video. And when you've completed your homework. Go and catch up on a James Bond movie. See you next time.